Great present before you to all present, present here. After a short gap, uh, we have with us our uh, spoken English sir, Mr. Sabri Dukal Vikar, professor. Today also he has come to take classes for us. Uh, today also we are going to learn a lot in English. So on behalf of the management staff and students, I welcome you sir. Next I welcome our resources sir, teachers and all the students for this class. Thank you. Understand the question is see, what is the actual demand in this verb for benefits and predicates? What should be called air verb as a predicate or predicate verb and so on? Why can't we tell this as verb or why can't we consider this as predicate? This is the constant question. So we must know the exact difference between the verb and the predicate. And similarly, other words. Say for example, what is, what is it coming? Whether it is verb or uh, uh, noun or some other thing, what is Coming, coming alone. I am taking coming alone. Coming alone. Coming alone. Does this work for uh, some other thing? Is it ever? Is it ever? Is it a verb coming, writing, singing, talking, listening, working? What is it? Verb. See, that is a real uh, the, the thing. Immediately we think it is verb. Some action is going on. So we say it is a verb. That is an normal tendency. So in order to find whether coming is Verb or noun or some adjective or anything other than, other than uh, verb. You have to refer the dictionary. You must look at the dictionary. See what is it? Coming, walking, what is it? I think like this. Why can't we this like this? So the dictionary gives the meaning as noun. Coming, like the noun, not verb. Not verb. Dictionary meaning of all this. Participants are now. You can look at the dictionary whether I am correct or not. So, the moment we hear, hear this, we think that it is verb. Actually, it is now. Actually, it is now. Will it be converted coming into now? It is not, not necessary. The meaning is not changing. Although, it is considered as verbal phrase, when you consider all this as verbal phrase. And actually, if you think, in, uh, think English is not, not actually changing the meaning of coming. Coming is coming. Why, why, I, why it is now? Because he is coming and the name of the action is coming. I am teaching. The name of my action at present is teaching. So I say it, I am teaching. So teaching is our teaching, coming, going, uh, writing, everything is uh, the name of an action. That is why we say it is now. Name of an action. Do you understand this? So you go to your house and refer the dictionary. What does that mean? Then there is another meaning for that. It can be with the best attitude. Talking boy. Listening girl. Uh, here, talking comes as attitude. Changing the meaning of boy. Talking boy. The boy who is talking. So, it is changing the meaning. Modifying the meaning. So, it is attitude. That comes as attitude. So, there will be 
two meanings of this in the if you look at the dictionary now the, the name of an action then um, uh, adjective falling falling way i saw a falling way see the falling modifies the meaning of way so we have a notion that it is well, actually it is not like that so here predicate See, if you talk about predicate, immediately a person will ask, what do you mean by predicate? You are talking so many things. What do you mean by predicate? See, for them, I have to answer this question. Everything other than the subject in a sentence is predicate. Predicate talks about the subject, reveals the nature of the subject, and, and uh, all the things uh, uh, spoken about the subject is predicate. That is the general meaning. And uh, most of the books also consider cricket only in this way. Many uh, grammar books do not talk about cricket at all. Many grammar books do not talk about cricket at all. Because it is a, a complicated thing. It is very, very difficult to understand. So simply they leave it. So ordinarily, the teachers will not give you any teaching. Here, if I say everything other than the subject is, uh, subject in a sentence is cricket, there will be no problem there, there will be no dispute between these two, two people. But if I say the word that reveals the nature of the subject is cricket, what is the word? How the word uh, reveals the nature? That is the question. So it is very, very difficult to convince them. It is very, very difficult to convince them. If you ask me to tell the meaning of cricket, I will give the meaning. I will give only this meaning, not or only this definition. I will give this definition only. Then, religion must move by the subject in number. This is, this is a well-known rule in uh, English. Subject and verb uh, must uh, agree in number. That is the well-known uh, rule. In the place of verb, I say religion. There is not much, not much difference. Do you understand? If you ask me to tell the meaning of predicate, I will give this reply. To those who know some English. Otherwise, I will say predicate is all of the other kind of subject. See, if you say run, run is a verb. All these words, run, walk, talk, all of the words. Dictionary gives the meaning. And so that is us verb. Runs is predicate. I said runs is predicate. So predicate is something given by the subject. Does is given by the subject. I said. So does run becomes predicate. See, what is the difference between this run and this run? This is a natural, again natural question. See, you say this is run, this is run. Here you say there is a run. You don't call this as run, call it a uh, how can we understand that? How can we understand that? That is an important question. You call this word verb and call this word uh, uh, not verb, not a verb. How can we understand that? See, you can imagine like this. Will you imagine it? You take a mango. Mango, this is mango. This is This mango contains Seed and mango. Can you imagine like that? Mango has two parts. One part is mango, another part is seed. So, it is like that. It is like the seed in the mango. You can be compared. You can, you can compare uh, like that. Can, so, this is mango. This is also is mango. This also is mango. But, there is dust. So thus reveals the nature of the subject. Thus is the predicate in this sentence. He does run. He does run. And here, what is run? Whether it is verb or not. You must be very, very, must be very, very clear. Whether it is verb, whether the run is verb or not. Tell me whether the verb is, the verb run is verb or not. See, to those who know English, I am saying it is not verb. 
This is not the problem. If you know something, I will say, it is not problem. It is bare infinity. Grammarians call it bare infinity. Bare infinity. All infinity is all infinity. They will go on endlessly. They will go on endlessly. So here, thus will act as the predicate. Thus will act as the predicate. If thus acts as the predicate, all other words that displace thus, all other words that displace this thus must be with the thus predicate like words. Predicate like words. If some other word displaces this, even if they are not not predicates, uh, uh, we have to consider some as predicate like words. See, for example, in the place of does, you can substitute to. You can you can remove does and uh, you can uh, substitute does into two. It immediately becomes two run. Two run. The two is not the verb. Here, verb becomes predicate. Two is not the verb. It is not even proposition. It is not even proposition. So it is taken in the place of a predicate. But it is uh, usually it is taken together as a phrase. And this is infinitive. Verb to infinitive. Then, in the place of two, you can substitute. Two will be. He will come. He will run. So, if. This is a uh, predicate. This also must be predicate. Like words. Actually, it is all about feature. So, predicate is all about the present and past. So, it cannot function as predicate. It cannot function as predicate. But it is unpaid in the place of a predicate like words. So, simply because it, uh, it is not a predicate, we cannot immediately call it as well. But we cannot reject everything as, like if I say, it is not a word, then also it, people will not understand, uh, agree. Because it has a role. All verbs in a sentence has a role to play. They have a function to play. Based on that, every word can be taken as uh, can be given some verbal meaning. But we can, here, we are not about that. We are saying, what is the difference between this verb infinitive and the verb? So you can see this. He comes. They come. They come. The predicate obeys the subject. It is singular. Here it is singular. They come. This is plural. He is come. So predicates obeys the subject. See, the predicate will be predicate only if it obeys the subject. If it does not obey the subject, it cannot be predicate. He will come. See, here will not change. They will come. So, the subject has no control over the predicate. The subject has no control over the predicate. So, will come cannot function as predicate. Because there is no, you can see, here there is control and the the predicate changes in number. Here there is no control, uh, it is not changing in number. Can you understand this? Can you understand this difference? What is a verb and predicate? Here we, this is bare infinitive. These two are bare infinitive because they are not changing in number. When the subject changes, they are not changing. When the subject changes, they are not changing. So it is infinitive. If, when the subject changes the number, if a verb does not change its number, then there cannot be a predicate. There cannot be a 
LinkedIn. That can't be a group LinkedIn. So here, run this usual doing is run. Predicate runs. Does run. Predicate is does run. They are given to you. It will not tell you. The, in the face of less run, you can have do run. They do run. But the run will not change. That is why we say it is infinity. If the, the run also will change, we will not say the answer of that is infinity. It is not changing. This alone is changing. So this is the predicate and this is not the predicate. So, it does run. It does run. So, does release that it runs. That is the meaning. That is the meaning. This is the revealing word. This is the telling word. This tells that he runs. It. At the same time, you see, He is coming. He is coming. He is a subject. Coming is a noun. He is his predicate. He is his predicate. Usually, he is coming as written as proper noun. And if you consider this as a predicate, uh, we can say this is predicate, this is noun, this, this is no noun. He is a doc doctor. He is subject. Uh, he is a uh, predicate, uh, do uh, doctor, uh, again, uh, uh, noun phrase, noun phrase. So, it is revealing, he is his revealing, he is his revealing to the right of the subject. Can you understand, understand something? Can you understand something? So, again, so what is it? What is it? What is it? He is If you don't know the meaning of the predicate, I will say it is verb. If you know the meaning of uh, whether it is predicate or other, I will say it is predicate. You understand? I will say it is predicate. They are coming. I will say R. This R discusses is. Is is equivalent to R. So we say they are coming. So if you don't know the meaning of the predicate, I will say, I will help to say, this has worked. If you know the meaning of the predicate, I will say, it is, uh, it, it is predicate. Okay, you understand this? Yes. 